where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Recently, I was nervous about a possible opportunity to expand the ministry God has given me and get a book published. I reached out to a friend for prayer, and she told me, Carla, you can't mess up God's will for your life. Just seek Him, and He will open the doors that He wants you to walk through. Closed doors are closed for a reason. If you jiggle a knob and it's locked, just move on to the next one. You only want His will for your life anyway. I liked that idea. It's not my job to force doors open. I'm just supposed to jiggle knobs. If they're locked, they're not for me. If they're open, it's my job to go through them and take that step of faith. Paul talked about open doors several times. In 1 Corinthians 16.9, he told the church at Corinth that he wanted to visit, but God had opened a great door for effective work in Ephesus. God kept that door open for two and a half years, so Paul stayed there to work. In 2 Corinthians 2.12, he found an open door at Troas to preach the gospel. And in Colossians 4.3, he asked the church at Colossae to pray that God would open a door for him and Timothy to preach the gospel, even though he was under house arrest at the time. Opened or closed doors can apply to many different things. Paul was usually talking about an opportunity to share the gospel. Back in the late 1940s, at the close of World War II, the country of Japan was in a spiritual vacuum. They had lost the war. Their gods had let them down. Emperor Hirohito offered to make Japan a Christian nation, but American General Douglas MacArthur refused because he believed it wrong to impose any religion on people. Instead, MacArthur asked the American people to send 10,000 missionaries to Japan. The door was open, wide open. Unfortunately, we responded by sending just a handful. I remember in the early 1990s when the Iron Curtain was broken down and Russia and Eastern European countries opened their doors to the West. What an opportunity got open for Western Christians to spread the gospel in former communist countries. God still opens doors for us to share the gospel, and we need to be paying attention when he does. Those doors might be as simple as an opportunity to share his promises with a hurting friend, or as surprising as an atheist co-worker asking for prayer. He also opens doors for us to go through that give us opportunities to do his work. A friend of mine had a daughter who lost her job recently, but that turned out to be an open door that God used to give her a new job that she likes way more than the one she had, and who knows how God is going to use her on that job. The thing is, when God gives us new opportunities, open doors, even if they're fulfilling desires of our hearts, They're not just for us. They're for Him, for His glory. Psalm 37, 4 and 5 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. The Lord is the one who gives the increase in our lives. Have you been jiggling doorknobs lately? What doors has God opened for you lately? What have you done with those open doors? As always, we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to share a treasure, support this ministry, or get Carla to speak at an event, please contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.